Hello everyone, Teo here back again with another book review. Today's book is a bit different compared to the art books or the instructional art books that are usually featured. This is a children book and this is published by Thames and Hudson. I bought this book from APD Singapore, a book distributor that's located here. Official retail price US $19.90 and the artist and author is Helen Kellogg. So the reason why I wanted to feature this book is because the artworks are so beautiful. The mixed media watercolor artworks. So um, this is a children's book so there's not much of a story except to admire the art. The story is basically basically about two kids who went into the forest to look for this falling star. The colors in this book are really vibrant and I really like the use of mixed media. See the texture here? This looks like it was drawn with some dry media, maybe a pencil perhaps. And the lines here probably drawn with pencils. And there's this tree here, you can see the texture. I really like this uh, combination of um, dry, rough texture against the watercolor. It's very beautiful. This is a very lively style. You can see how Helen, she chooses not to, to draw the outlines for the faces. She drew the eyes, the nose, the hair, but not the outlines for the faces. And we see some shadow marks here drawn with possibly pencil. This two-page spread here doesn't have a lot of details, but the composition is really nice and the details actually come from the texture of the dry media and the watercolor washes. And when you take a look at the washes, you can see various colors within the washes. That's really nice. This book is not very thick. There are only oh, a few pages. Okay, so for this particular illustration, I see this watercolor wash that sort of blends the color from blue into yellow and the transition of the color, it, it's very soft. So this wash is actually used as a background for the illustration. And the other colors are added, painted, probably painted on top of the initial wash. And all these drawings, probably again drawn with pencils or maybe a brush. But this one's probably pencil, I can see the dry marks, the texture. Notice again the style. She chooses not to draw the outlines for the faces. And here again you see the use of the watercolor wash as a background for the drawing here as well. And one thing I really like about there are actually a lot of things I really like about this book and the art. Uh, one thing that I like is how the colors, how the vibrant colors, they actually uh, blend into their darkness. And you see this very beautiful contrast of the vibrant colors against the dark background. Here as well, you see this is predominantly black, but you see this bright, vibrant area here and there are some spots of highlights here and there. In this case, the eyes for the animals. Again, watercolor washes as background. Here, I, I believe she drew some of the lines with uh, crayons, perhaps, or colored pencils. So you can see all these hatching lines, colored pencils, probably. The thicker lines probably drawn with crayon. And you can see some watercolor effects. This is a back run. So this happens when the paint flow backs to create the edges and this is quite nice. With watercolor, there can be happy accidents like back runs. Sometimes you like them to appear, sometimes you don't. So here again, notice the contrast of the vibrant colors versus the background. It really draws your attention to what's happening uh, in the highlighted area. Beautiful owls. Now the pages, um, 
these are really huge pages so it allows you to admire the art like full size more beautiful illustration so the kids man managed to find a falling star and all the animals are there as well I am pretty sure children will like this book because the illustrations they are so uh, they are so lovely as for me I like this because well of the art obviously so it looks like the kids they brought the falling star back home this is a really nice book you can get for your kids and if you don't have kids you can get it for yourself because the art is gorgeous you can find this book on Amazon and Book Deposit 3. I have affiliate links for you in the video description below, as well as links to Helen Kellogg's website and Instagram page where you can check out more of her art. All right, thanks for watching this video. I hope it's helpful. See you in the next one. Bye.